Hey guys, this is Tim, and today I have a new series for you guys. It's going to be a series of reviews that I'm going to be doing. This is going to be the first one, and it's going to be interviewing people from the community, or the tech community, and uh, we're just going to hear their story and see what they're all about. So today I have Hank from Logically Technology. So Hank, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Logically Technology, at Logically Tech on Twitter, so follow me. So Hank, or Logically Technology, has a pretty good YouTube channel. It has about 1,000 subscribers, and he does tech videos. Uh, not so much interviews. I mean, he said he was going to do uh, one coming up, but... Yeah. A review, a review of an OtterBox Defender case is, should be up by the end of June, hopefully. But, yeah. So, uh, I mean, how would you... Like, what would you categorize your videos as, Hank? I mean, like just technology like i really i i'm thinking of doing a podcast that's like analyzes what happens in the world of tech like we already have our first uh, podcast up about nokia and windows phone 7 but then other than that there's like really no pattern to my videos except you know like if i do an ipad 3 video and then i don't like it then i'll make a new one or Yep. With an iPhone 5 ad, if I don't like it, I'll make a new one. Yep, I understand. And um, so I guess <clears throat> the first question I would ask to ask you is, how? why did you start making videos? So basically what happened was, I think I searched some retro Apple computer, and uh, Matt's Macintosh, one of his videos came up, and I was just blown away by how just amazing and how like entertaining the video actually became. And that was actually one of the reasons why I got into tech. It was because of Matt's Macintosh because, you know, I always thought it was kind of boring. But, like, he really presented it in an entertaining way. And I guess I wanted to do that, too. I wanted to be able to present technology from my perspective in an entertaining way. So, eventually, like, a couple years later, I just created my YouTube channel called Logically Technology. Okay. So, I guess the next question would be, what camera do you use? Okay, so in my uh, previous videos, I've used the Canon PowerShot G10, but uh, I recently got the Canon 60D, and uh, I'm right now I'm editing my first video with the Canon 60D, and it should be up soon. So that's a pretty nice camera for you guys who don't know. Yeah. So uh, do you? I, I, I'm sorry for asking this, but do you remember how much it cost? I actually got it as a present, but yeah, oh, we only bought the uh, camera. The lens was my own. So it's an 18 to 135 millimeter lens. Um, I think you can pick a Canon 60D off of Amazon, just a body for like $900, I think. And I that, that right there is actually a pretty good deal, guys, because yeah. this is some pretty intense yeah. piece of hardware. So if you really want to get serious about making YouTube videos, you're going to need to pick up something like that. Yeah. So I guess the next question I would ask you is, what is your favorite part about YouTube in general? So my favorite part is definitely comments and reading like what your viewers and subscribers have to say about your video. And it's especially pleasing when you see comments that are like constructive criticism that help you build up the quality of your video. It's not just saying like, oh, good job, but they give you tips and help that will actually ultimately make your videos better in the future. Yeah, I think that everyone on YouTube can agree that uh, the fans and the viewers are everything that is the real fuel for the uh, for our YouTube videos. And if it was not for you guys, then we wouldn't be here because we'd just be us talking to ourselves. So I guess uh, the last question, which is uh, really on everyone's mind with a smaller channel, is uh, what would your advice be to smaller YouTube channels with, I'd say, like under 100 subscribers, trying to get off the ground and uh, trying to get a little bigger? All right, so um, I know last time when we did this question, I said, well, Matt McIntosh told me that, uh, you know, it's not about the subscribers or the view count. You should make videos because you want to make videos. And I still believe that's true. It's like probably the best advice anyone has, has ever given me in regards to YouTube. But um, if I guess if you want to get more exposure, like just in general, then you should probably be active with live streams, Twitter, you know, make a Skype account specifically for your YouTube channel and put it on your YouTube channel page or whatever. You make a Twitter account so you can engage with 
you know, not only who you follow on Twitter, but your own followers. So if you just engage with, I guess, your viewers, then they'll spread the word. Or, yeah. That's some good advice, guys. And um, so I guess the last question I'm going to ask you is, uh, who's your favorite YouTuber out of anyone, not just tech, but like just anyone in general? So Ray William Johnson, because like I kind of admire how far he's come from like his, uh, I think it was Capitol Hill or rap. I don't remember his first channel name. I only watched like three videos from it. But uh, I just admire how far he's come. And uh, now my favorite part is actually not Equals 3, but it's Breaking NYC. I don't know. My second favorite YouTuber would have to be Matt Snackintosh. So I just love his videos. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you head over to Logically Technologies channel. And uh, make sure you follow on Skype. What was your, I mean, not Skype, uh, Twitter. What was your Twitter handle? Uh, at Logically Tech. So uh, make sure you guys do those things, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And if you want to be on the series, make sure you personal message me or uh, contact me on Twitter. My Twitter is uh, at I am Tim the Great, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I am Tim the Great signing out. And uh, Hank, if you want to say goodbye. All right, see you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.